Hi guys. Well, it is a cloudy, gloomy Tuesday morning. Hopefully the sun will be coming out here on Tuesday, October 12th, 2021. So uh, I am thrilled to announce that the little dog and I, this lazy little dog, if he can get out of bed, we are going to head off to look at the beautiful fall leaves between here and Vermont uh, for the next two or three days. So it'll probably be Friday before I'm uh, back with a chronicle of the collapse. I am taking three days out of the doomosphere to practice what I preach to get out there and enjoy it while I still can. And uh, But before I go, I just want to leave you folks with a couple of comments, uh, some words to chew on from a couple of our alert readers here to send me down the road. And we're first going to hear from my old buddy Beachcomber Boz. This is what Beachcomber Boz has on his mind. <clears throat> The whole no, noble savage sentiment deep within the breast of every New Ager is just a way of shifting the problem to another place. Just as we ship all our garbage to that place away, we also shift all <clears throat> our hopes to remote locations but those locations are being cleared and burnt before our eyes on YouTube. The truth is that every solution must be local. The only responsibility we can take is for our own immediate environment. But we are all technolo technological junkies. There is no halfway. To say that I am happy to live in a mud hut with no high-tech health infrastructure, but I want to keep my smartphone. Well, guess what? Living like that means you have nothing to offer the high-tech world, so forget the smartphone. I personally cannot imagine life without it because my phone is my life now. My relationships are mostly virtual. All my information comes through the web. The only thing we can keep is our faith, whether that is in the mushroom or Jesus Christ or whatever. How many of us would pass the test as we are dying on the floor of our mud hut and watch all the rich people around us getting first-class health care. When the chips are down, the faith of most people is pretty thin soup. That is why WASF, giving up our current dependence on high-tech is to sacrifice our very lives, but this is inconceivable to us. Our faith is just too poor. This is true, tr the true tragedy of it all. This is the reason people rot to death in aged care homes because no one really believes in anything more than gross physical survival. Maybe beautiful suicide would be the kindest thing for everyone. It would allow me to make the ultimate sacrifice without a slow lingering death in poverty, but the Earth Mother loves each of us individually just as our simple existence is sucking the lifeblood out of her. Suicide is quite simply an unforgivable sin because of this love. 
I cannot work it out. <laughs> no, Beachcomber, none of us can work it out. All we can do is plot along, doing the best I can, trying not to put a bullet through our head. Uh, and I also wanted to uh, share this comment from uh, my longtime listener, Sheila Chambers. This might be the first time we have quoted Sheila here on Collapse Chronicles. Take it away, Sheila. What's on your mind today? It is too late for logical reduction of our numbers. Instead, we have chosen to end our time like yeast in a petri dish, starving to death as we drown in our own filth. Religion has made this irrational, has made the irrational a virtue. Economists have convinced most that endless growth is possible and desirable. Economists don't seem to have the word finite or limits in their vocabulary. Limits to growth is real, or is that are real, <coughs> and we are feeling their effects now with our deteriorating quality of life. It is only going to get worse. We are already over the cliff. Splat is inevitable. Yes, it is, darling. We are already over the cliff. Splat is inevitable. Uh, and this is why uh, I am going to get out and enjoy it while I still can, uh, soaking in these beautiful fall leaves before the winter of our discontent settles over uh, New York and uh, New England and uh, your old climate refugee snowbird packs up this little camper and gets the hell out of Dodge. Some new developments. Looks like I will be uh, heading back to my place in Florida this winter after all. The universe has a strange way of uh, making plans for us when we're so busy making plans. I will see you on Friday. I guess the next time I see you will be the Manga Bay Roundup rant. Anyway, guys, get out there and enjoy some beautiful fall leaves while you still can. We never know when our number is up. Splat. Bye, guys. <laughs>